guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to another week of meals. If you guys are totally new around here, I do these pretty often. I show you what's for dinner every single evening of the week. I do weekdays because on the weekends we tend to just kind of go off course and do whatever we want. We order food in, that kind of thing. So um, today is Monday and I'm going to be showing you what I'm making for dinner this evening. I'm kind of getting an earlier start on dinner, just what worked with our schedule today. And I'm making some Asian lettuce wraps that I'm so excited to eat. You know it's gonna be good whenever the recipe itself gets you excited to eat. <laughs> you guys know that one of my biggest tips is to get your kitchen cleaned up before you start cooking, no matter if you're cooking dinner or meal prepping. I just feel like especially before dinner time, having it cleaned up so that you can throw dinner dishes into the dishwasher as you're cooking is super important because till dinner's over, mama is out of the kitchen. Done. The kitchen is closed at that point and I don't feel like doing a ton of dishes. So before I even start making dinner, I generally like to try to get the dishwasher loaded and get everything kind of ready. So we're gonna do that before we get started in on dinner, but I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Finish. Since today is Amazon Prime Day, Amazon is offering 25% off of the in-wash dishwasher cleaner. And I personally love the subscribe and save option. It's so convenient because I can subscribe and save 5% plus with it being reoccurring I never run out and I get free shipping on top of it and this is pretty exciting because they have some super quality products and they help me out oh my goodness I've told you guys that I run my dishwasher sometimes twice a day I do lots and lots of dishes. I don't have to scrub down dishes or anything. I don't have to do any rinsing or any prep. The dishes just go in the dishwasher and finish does the job for me. Beyond their dishwasher tabs, they have things like their dishwasher cleaner, which is pretty awesome. And then their rinse aid, this is a lifesaver because I do not have to worry about making sure that the dishes are completely dry. This thing gets them totally dry and totally spotless. So let's go ahead and tackle these dishes so we can get cooking. Finish Quantum Infinity Shine Tablets get my dishes so clean and shiny without the need to pre-rinse or pre-soak. They have the idea of sustainability behind this because it reduces your water usage by cutting out the pre-rinse. Also, the tubs that the tabs come in is recyclable. The Finish Jet Dry Rinse Aid helps to get your dishes completely dry. Unlike whenever you don't use a rinse aid, Finish Jet Dry Rinse Aid helps to get your dishes completely dry. Something that is a little new to me is the Finish and Wash Dishwasher Cleaner. I've been using it for the last few weeks, once a week, and it's been making such a big difference on keeping my dishwasher clean on the inside. It's so simple to use because you can run it along with the regular detergent and your load of dishes, and it makes maintaining a clean dishwasher super simple. To use the dishwasher tabs, you just have to handle them with dry hands and place the tab into the main detergent cup and close. And then to add in the rinse aid, all you have to do is fill your rinse aid compartment monthly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box to get on the Amazon Prime Day deals and add finish to your subscribe and save to get in on those benefits as well. Such a great feeling when all the dishes are done. <laughs> I love that look on my counter, you guys. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cut up the chicken and I'm actually going to triple the sauce recipe because only one of these chicken breasts is about a pound and that's what the recipe calls for. As usual, all recipes will be be linked below um, but the reason I'm just gonna go ahead and do that is because I had this in the freezer thawed it out and I want to cook it up besides I also feel like it's going to be really great for lunches the next couple days so I might as well get that out of the way and you know do a little bit of meal prepping here too so I'm gonna dice up this chicken throw it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and get it cooking up so we can prepare the sauce
Okay, while the chicken is simmering in its sauce, I'm going to mix up a quick like Asian inspired salad. So I'm not, I'm gonna do this by taste just because I've made some things like this before. So I've got soy sauce, I've got, um, this is like a chili, yeah, chili ginger sauce. This is really good by the way. You can find it in a lot of Asian aisles at your grocery store, but it's also spicy, so just keep that in mind. I have some sweetener, I've got some rice vinegar, and some sesame oil, and some garlic powder and ginger powder. So I'm going to make up kind of a sauce in the bottom. I washed the same bowl I was using. Another tip, I try to wash my mixing bowls as I go so I don't use a whole bunch of them and cuts down on dishes. Um, so I'm gonna kind of mix things together, taste as I go, and kind of make a sauce in the bottom, and then throw in this cabbage, basically. It's coleslaw mix, but it's got like cabbage um, just chopped up in it, and you can use it for this kind of a salad as well. It is Monday night, and this one is super, super simple. It's definitely a go-to for me every once in a while, especially whenever I've got a leftover roast in the freezer. So I showed you guys not that long ago in a video how I made some Philly cheesesteak wraps out of a leftover roast. So whenever I make roast, a lot of times we'll need about half of it, and the other half of it, I just throw it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and I use it for something else. And this is one of the other things that I use it for. I use it for stir fry. So kind of to make a beef style stir fry. So I will actually heat this up in the microwave and shred it up to throw into this. But before that, I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut oil into the frying pan and then throw in all of this Asian Melody uh, veggies. Sometimes I get a really big bag from Walmart, but I was at Target, so I just grabbed these three. Monday nights are always a busy one for us just because, you know, Mondays I'm catching up on emails and lots of work and stuff. So I always want something as simple as it can be for Monday night. So along with this, I will, once I get these softened up, I will also be adding in some sweet and sour sauce. You can get this at any grocery store. This particular kind is at Aldi. And then to eat this stir fry over top of, I've got some simple, simple whole grain brown rice. I do a lot of times cook my own rice, but sometimes for nights like these, it's really nice to have the type you can just throw in the microwave. So they will be eating this over this. I myself may eat some of the stir fry. I won't be eating the rice or I may kind of make myself some scrambled eggs. I'm kind of in the mood for scrambled eggs, honestly. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but um, this is obviously, this sauce would not be keto friendly if you are looking for keto style meals. This one is not, but it's still a really easy one and it's not all that unhealthy. For myself, I decided to pull out these zucchini spirals. I'm gonna throw them in the microwave and just steam them. And then I'm gonna eat the veggies and meat without the sauce on top of these. Okay guys, so it's Tuesday and we are getting ready to go out the door and kind of be gone for part of the day, have a busy day. And so today is definitely a great day for crock pot meal. Um, it's raining outside, so I'm going to put my white chicken chili that I made a little while ago and I had put it in the freezer 
It's one of those like dump and go kind of meals. So all I gotta do is dump it into the crock pot. I actually just use my pressure cooker on the slow cooker setting, dump it in there, and then it will be all ready for dinner at dinner time. And this recipe does have like the raw chicken in it, so it does have to cook throughout the whole day. And um, I think I'm also gonna do some kind of like a biscuit along with it. Um, I had made uh, some cheesy biscuits a little while ago that are in the freezer as well, so I'm thinking those will pair really well with that. This is great for busy days, and it's one of my favorite things because then I don't have to worry about really making up a lot for dinner. It is about time for dinner. I just got home a little bit ago and I'm gonna open this up. I'm so curious to see how this looks. It's actually sitting on warm right now. So I think I just need to open it up. I had cubed up the chicken so it should be good to go, ready to eat. And then I just pulled these cheesy biscuits out of the freezer that I made a while ago. And I'm gonna put them on a plate and throw them into the microwave and we'll have dinner ready. For today's dinner, I pulled something out of the freezer. So this is basically like sausages and kind of some red sauce and some peppers and everything in there. It's all ready to go. I've got it out last night and let it thawed. So now it's ready to just be dumped in here on slow and low all day. This is a pressure cooker, but I just use the slow cooker setting for this idea. And then um, we will put the rest of the meal together later tonight. Hey guys, so it's just about time for dinner and the crock pot slow cooker is done with the sausage and peppers and red sauce in there. So to eat it, um, I'm going to actually throw a bag of rice cauliflower in the microwave. I actually don't have rice right now. I was gonna make brown rice to eat it over top of, but I realized I didn't have any right now. So I'm just going to use the cauliflower rice. The girls like that as well. And I can just steam it right in the microwave. And I'm being a little lazy, but I just don't feel like sauteing it in the pan, which is normally how I do it. So this is just a faster, easier way to make. I'm using the Aldi brand rice cauliflower and it says that you can put it in for five to seven minutes and it should be done. Hey guys, so it's Friday night, and you guys know that Fridays are my day to find something super simple to make for dinner. So tonight, I'm going to be making up some deviled eggs, which are pretty easy to quickly whip up, some cheesy broccoli, and then I'm going to make those um, tuna patties that I had made a little while ago in a meal prep video. We ended up eating those pretty quickly, and they are so delicious. Sorry, the girls are making pillow forts and pretending something that involves screaming. <laughs> Anyways, um, so whenever I made them, what was so good about them is just the flavor. Like the flavor was just so delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. I did already hard boil the hard boiled eggs earlier for the deviled eggs, but I'm going to mix up the ingredients to do the tuna patties since they do go in my little waffle maker and it does take a little time to get through them. I'm gonna get that going first and then we'll get the broccoli rolling and um, work on the eggs. I've got my hard boiled eggs here. I'm going to peel them and then I'm gonna mix up the inside of the deviled eggs in here. My uh, griddle or my little 
Waffle Maker is getting hot right now and the broccoli is working on getting up to a boil. When it comes to mixing up the middle part of the deviled egg, you just need the yellow part of the eggs, some mustard and some mayo, and then that's pretty much all I do. Some people cut up some of the egg whites and make it a little chunky in there. Some people um, add a little bit of sugar to it to make it a little sweeter. You can do whatever you want. I like the simple way um, and it to be a little more mustardy tasting. That was such a quick and easy meal to put together and it was so, so delicious. I hope you guys were inspired. As usual, I will link the recipes below. I think I say that multiple times, but I get a lot of people with comments, where's the recipes? So that's why I remind you guys a lot. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description box to get yourself some finished products. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I do all things foodie here in my kitchen. Don't forget to leave a comment and give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.